In this part, I will show you how I change running distance and I will explain how to make in place running cycle, which will help us when you push this running motion. When I see this motion, there is some part that I want to change. I want to make it more uh, longer distance in one step. Uh, I think it will make more dynamic one step to step this when it stepping each step I want to make it more distance so I'll change the distance I think I will not I will change not too much it will make expanding more spend more time for polishing the legs so I will not to change much but I will change a little bit and I'll show you how to change that quickly and then head is looking down which is a bit old so I will change the head, head pose as well let's start with the head pose because it's a uh, very simple just uh, add a layer select the head and add a layer and shift uh, rotate to forward you can check in front view Uh, most of the time the head uh, motion is very head pose is very important because it make him look where he focus so I changed a little bit this already looks much better uh, you can see the different look down and look up you can turn up the web uh, layer like this Better side view, better. Okay, and then I will merge this. Then let's change step distance. Before we do that, I will change uh, FK controller, like FK controller to IK. The character from KL Begins website they have script to change it is uh, like FK to IK is very nice tools if you have these tools it's uh, really simple you can just find on his website but if you have own your own FK IK switch script or any uh, option on your character would be very nice Just quickly change, uh, select this, and then change to IK. Moves back because IK control at the moment hasn't got any key on it. Uh, it need uh, keys to match this IK control to FK. So I will just key back simulation and to just add all keys every frame. So it has no animation, but it has keys on every frame. Then select this IK controller and click this match IK to FK, right click and click this bake IK to FK for current time range. So it changes all this time range to IK, uh, FK to IK and IK controller matches to FK controller. So IK move exactly the same with FK. But I found sometimes the first frame is not matching, but you can fix it easily. Just click this and click this button, match IK to FK, and it'll fix. So, yeah, now we have IK. Left drag is same, just change this to IK and select this, and also pull back to new pull back to as well. and key bake simulation so I got all keys then select these and match IK to FK okay almost done yep okay now we have both a leg is IK control 
Okay, I will change the moving distance a little bit longer. So select all this controller again. Select one, two, three, four, five. And then go to Grab Editor. Select Translate Z. It doesn't sync. I will select this again. Run this sync selection in Grab Editor. Okay, yeah, it's working. Select all Z axis. I will multiply equal. 1.1 is 10% longer, it will make 10% longer distance a little bit move a little bit longer than uh, previous so it will make motion a bit dynamic a little bit it moves a little bit faster it when I say faster, it doesn't mean he actually move faster. Uh, his motion, I didn't really make his motion or faster, and I didn't change the timing. I just made him move a bit longer distance in same frame, uh, in same frame length. It means in like in this um, same time he move a little bit farther, which means. He moved faster, so yeah, when I say when I say uh, I made him faster, it means I just made him move a little bit longer distance. So okay, there's a little bit uh, weird lag angle. It's because this character ankle pivot is in uh, here, which is quite higher high than usual human ankle position it's because of he is she's wearing the heel uh, it makes a little bit weird like pose I will fix this later anyway we change the distance now what I what I will do I will make him move in place uh, top controller and select uh create layer dimension layer and key at the beginning and key at the end select body controller from face animation layer and copy the z value from the main body controller and and go and select the top uh, controller then paste this in animation layer in animation layer uh, what you just created uh, you put this value with minus so it just move in back if you see now this motion just in place but he moved back and forth because this layer in um, auto tangent mode you can change this to linear so yeah it looks nicer if you work on uh, your character in place it makes much easy to check your animation and pose and uh, your arc so let's work in this in place mo mode let's change this name in place if you later whenever you want to check your motion with the z movement and just turn off this layer you still have this z axis just turn on again i will 
attach the weapon on his hand so we can see what it looked like with the weapon. Um, just attaching the weapon. Layer. <coughs> I attached the weapon on his arm. Let's play this. It's not bad, just uh, the pose is uh, not nice with the right hand. Oh, I'll just delete the finger animation. Okay, let's change the uh, pose on right arm. Let's make layer. Select, 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 and create layer top. Just make sure. Uh, it's this controller all in animation layer. Okay, and I'll change this bit like this, like this. I have a shortcut for different views so I can quickly change the view left and right, front and top view. If you make game animation, the animation uh, should be good pose uh, in every angle. So it's good to have uh, a shortcut for different camera view because you have to check uh, quite often your animation in different angle. And now it looks much better with the uh, animation, with a uh, new pose. Now it looks much better, but still, I think the pose still we can change a little bit is to stretch it a bit like this. It's not bad. I will polishing these arms with a, an IK controller. Uh, for me, I found it's always good to control with IK. I found when you when your character holding heavy object, it's always good to use IK controller than FK. It gives more, uh, it's easier to keep more weight on uh, movement with the IK controller. Okay. Working now. So this old base is done. Now what we can do more policing work. Let's see, let's make a move. 
the side view doesn't look really nice with this sword is pointing down too much so we'll make this bit forward pointing up like this rather than this I'll change this angle Okay, that's not bad. In next chapter, I will explain more about policing motion capture data. Let's move on to the next part.